just show you all some quick modifications that I made today. I cleaned out the swirl filter <clears throat> and uh, I've got to try to get it ready that I can put a, a sort of screen in here and some sponges on top because I'm still getting a lot of particulate matter that's actually, you know, my flow rate's so high that particulate matter is getting on through the swirl filter and is running into the um, drain there. So, uh, in order to help facilitate putting a sponge in here or some sort of filter, I changed my inlet. If you recall, the inlet used to come in and then it split off into a T and I had a 45 one either way to help give that swirl, but in all honesty, the output from it still, it, it created a swirl, but it wasn't um, flowing, you know, coming in tangential to the side of the barrel like I wanted it to. So I've changed it to a singular outlet. So now it just goes straight down and then takes a left and then turns a 45. And the edge of that 45 right there where my pinky is, is actually touching the side of the barrel. And I'm getting a really, really good swirl. I can, I know y'all can't see it, but I'm looking at it and I can see all the particulars spinning around. So it's swirling really, really well. Um, that won't fix the particulars passing through the drain entirely, but having a higher velocity swirl should help sling that poo to the outside and make it settle to the bottom. You know, this is, for, uh, uh, to put it simply, this is a sort of vortex filter, so the heavy stuff goes to the outside, light stuff comes to the inside. But we'll see how it does.